Hey guys, uh, I wanted to start off this video by uh, kind of exposing, I guess, Aeon. Because they've been real lazy with this test. They basically have, at least for the five symbol one, I don't know for the uh, four symbol questions, but for the five symbol ones, they basically have 14 maybe patterns. They reduce. And they basically just rotate the, <laughs> the image, so it looks new, but it's actually... Like, at least for me, when I did the test, I got this one, like, five times. And one time it looked like this, the other time it looked like this, and then like this, and then like this. Um, so yeah, just, I think I've got the most of them here, just memorize these patterns. Like, um... This one, for example, I call this one the pitchfork because it looks like a pitchfork up here. And then they might do one of these and then you'll see the pitchfork and you'll know, oh, this is a pitchfork. The answer for this one is circle. Oh, it's actually star, I think. Yeah, it's star for this one. And also they might swap the um, symbols here and there. Um, for example, like switch the star to a triangle. So if you just memorize the position of the answer, you should be Gucci. So yeah, but this video is not about how productive Aeon has been with their um, test that almost every employer uses. But this video is about solving this and I wanted to share my thought process with you all. And hopefully this video helps you during your tests. Um, so yeah, let's start with the first one. As you might know the uh, rules. They are uh, that you can't have the same symbol on uh, two times on the same row or column. So this one for example has to be a circle and this becomes a triangle. So yeah, also you'll have six minutes to solve as many questions as possible, so I will show you the fastest way to solve all of these. Uh, for this one you see that it's a square because I will use this a lot, like different symbols pointing towards the question mark. Here for example we have three symbols pointing towards the question mark and we have four symbols available, so it's not a big secret that the last one become a square. Alright, on to the next one. This one is a bit trickier, but you start at the bottom row, you see that this is a square because there has to be a square on the bottom row and the square can't go here because of this square. And this one becomes a cross because that's the missing symbol on the bottom row. This becomes a triangle because that's the missing symbol on this column. So this becomes a circle. Three different symbols pointing towards the question mark. All right, for this one we see on the right column that it's missing a, um, a cross and a circle. The cross needs to be here because you can't put a circle here. And then now again you'll have four symbols, four different symbols pointing towards the question mark. So this becomes a square. Uh, for this one you will uh, see that you have to have a uh, star in this column. The star can't go here because of this star, the star can't go here because of this star, so the star has to go here. And uh, yeah, then you'll have four symbols again pointing towards the question mark. So this becomes a triangle. And now for the pitchfork. Um, 
you can't have a triangle. You need to have a triangle this row. You can't have it here, so it has to go here. And then you we don't really need a star or a uh, cross in need of those. The star can't go down here because of this star, so the star has to go here. Next one. So for this one, you need a cross or a circle on the top row. The cross can't go here because of this cross, so we put a cross here. And then uh, you will need a circle also in this column. The circle can't go here because of this circle and can't go here because of this circle, so it has to go here. Uh, for this one. To complete this row you'll have to have a square here. And then this is a trick. You block off where the square can't be, because you see that they are pretty spaced out and they don't cover the question mark. So you'll find that there's three possible positions the square can be in because this one is blocked by the cross, so it can't be here. And you you will always need five squares in, in the whole picture. If you have four, it won't, it, it won't make sense. So if you put a square here, for example, it will block this and this, so you'll only have four squares in total. So the, the square can't be here, it has to be here and here. I hope that made sense, but yeah. Um, so for the next one, we get that there's a cross here. And then we have four symbols pointing towards this square. We have the triangle, circle, square and cross. So this one has to be a star. Uh, then this uh, column is missing a square and a cross. The square can't go here because of this square, so it has to go here. So the cross has to be here. And then we have four out of five in this row. And the one that's missing is a star. Now for the next one, we have a star and here again we can we see that they're pretty spaced out and no one's covering the question mark. So we can uh, block off all the where the star can't be. And here again we see that the cross is blocked here. So the star can be here, here or here. We have three out of five stars, so it can't go here because as I said before it will block off these two. So the star has to go here and in our answer. Next one. Mm, here we have a cross. And then we see that we don't have a cross in this uh, column. And the cross can't go here, it can't go here, and it can't go here, so the cross has to go here. So that's the answer for that one. This one is a bit, um, it's a bit more tricky, but I'll do my best to explain. So, in the top row, like before, we need a circle or a square. The circle can go here, so it has to go here, and the square has to go here. And then we need to see that um, there's four different symbols pointing towards this square. So the only symbol left is the triangle. And then we need, we can look at the bottom row and we can start putting out symbols there. So the triangle, for example, has to be here because of this and this triangle, so they can't be here. And then uh, the cross can't be here, so it has to be here. And now we have four out of five in this column. So the last one becomes a star. All 
All right, next one. Uh, so this in this column we get a triangle, and then we can see in this column we get a circle, uh, and in this row we are missing a triangle. No, wait, in this uh, column, I mean, we're missing a triangle. The triangle can't go down here, so it has to go here. And now we're only missing a star here, so it has to go in the question mark. Um, yeah, for this one, you see the uh, crosses. This will cover all except four squares. So this one, this one, this one and this one, this one is blocked. So I can illustrate what I'm thinking here. So you see that you can't put a cross in uh, everywhere but four squares. But yeah, actually three squares because this square is blocking this square. So um, we need two more crosses to make it five. So the cross has to go here and here. Because if we put it here, we can't put crosses here and here. So now we have a full row except one. So this becomes a circle. All right, for this one, we can complete this column by putting a star here. Because this star is blocking this one from becoming a star. And then we have a circle here. And here again we see that the circles are spaced out and no circles are blocking the question mark. So like this. So now we have three spots again. And once again we need two circles to make it five. We can't put it here otherwise it will block these two. So we have to put a circle here and here. Uh, yeah, this one is pretty straightforward. You should get it on your test. So this square missing here, you can't put a square here, so the square has to go here because there's a missing square in this column. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Um, so we can stop looking at the bottom row. We see that these two squares are blocking it from this and this becoming a square. So the square has to go to the middle. And now we're only missing a star and a triangle on this column. And the star is blocking this one from becoming a star. So the star has to go down here. Beautiful star. So yeah, you don't really need to like try avoiding fill out, filling out more squares than necessary because as I said, it's timed. So for example, don't be like, oh, there's a triangle here and here is the, the star. Ooh, and then we can solve this too. This becomes a circle. Like don't, don't do that. Just try to focus on what do you need to solve the question mark. Otherwise you'll just waste time. And time is like the most important shit for this test. So yeah, um, like I said, just, <laughs> just try to memorize all these patterns, like name them or something because aside from this I screenshot it, I don't think there's maybe one more I missed or something, but yeah, good luck on your test and um, yeah, so yeah, hope this video helped. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments down below. See ya.